Well, good evening once again to another Wednesday night broadcast, Faith Baptist Church, Lagodi, Indiana. Trust everyone's doing well. As many of you know, we have now entered into officially uh, the month of December. A big month, a lot of activities, a lot of you making uh, travel plans, buying air tickets, uh, deciding where to meet this brother and this sister, parents, all these things can get very complicated during the month of December. month of December is both uh, one of the most exciting but yet most draining months of our calendar year. Uh, activities for all of us, uh, work parties, church parties, our church uh, uh, just uh, completed or just had our annual Christmas dinner and we have things scheduled. Uh, if any of you in the Ligoti area uh, do not have plans for Christmas Eve, please join us uh, 6 p.m. right here at 205 East Main Street in Ligoti. We'll be having our Christmas Eve service. Uh, but uh, uh, we're not quite the next two weeks. Uh, today we're going to stay once again with Proverbs 31. And then the following two weeks we're going to have Christmas uh, themed lessons. And then we'll get back to 31, finish 31. But uh, once again I hope your week's going well. And if you had your Bibles, if you would find the book of Proverbs, 31st chapter last chapter of the book as many of you know and uh, if you remember uh, this gentleman named Lemuel mother was getting some instructions and she was instructing different things and one of the things that she instructed on uh, was uh, uh, picking picking a, a spouse to spend their life with and you know we uh, uh, we all recognize how important that is I've been blessed uh, God bless me. I, I have a loving, caring spouse uh, far beyond what, what I deserve. I can assure you that. Uh, but I'll have to admit, you know, when I was young and love, you, you don't think about the issues that we're dealing with now. Hey, we've been married almost four decades. Can you believe that? And uh, so we're dealing with a lot more issues than we did at the beginning. Beginning with children and mortgages and colleges and marriages and all that good stuff. Now you're dealing with a, a little more uh, aging issues, responsibility, uh, uh, setting the die for the, the final run, so to speak. And so it's very important. And that's what the mule's uh, mother was trying to share with him. And uh, uh, now the Proverbs 31 woman uh, there's actually devotions called that. There's books written. And I'll have to admit, I want to give all you ladies a chance to relax. Uh, that This is describes all, almost the perfect woman. Uh, I doubt that there's any woman on the planet who has ever lived up to every one of these conditions uh, that Lou Mule's mother said. She was one of those moms who really wanted her boy to have the best. <laughs> but having said that, these are all qualities that we need to learn. But let's begin with verse 13 and 16, and it says, uh, speaking about this woman, seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from far. She rises while is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth the field and buys it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth a vineyard. Now this, this is quite a, an impressive list. Now all these activities that you descri described on this verse uh, doesn't mean that these happen in a day or even a week. Uh, this is just a pattern. Uh, you know, all these different kinds of work are interwoven with a life, isn't it? Uh, I spoke to you a minute ago about the journey that Miss Sheila and I have had. And, uh, you know, it was just daily activity. Uh, we're approaching four decades of marriage, but we didn't marry a year at a time or a decade at a time or, or things like that. Uh, you know, it's each day. Uh, here we are another day uh, spending together. You know, uh, she has her activities, I have my activities, we'll come together. Usually, if, if my schedule allows, and most days it does, thank God, I try to get home to lunch and 
and we, we have a lunch together and then I come back up to my office and, and then uh, you know in the evening uh, we uh, rarely unless there's a hospital a visit or something of that nature rarely we don't have our supper together then we spend the rest of the evening you know catching up doing our daily activities but you do that day after day and all of a sudden you got a week and you do it week after week and you got a month month after month you got a year year after year you got a decade you see the pattern and that's how how all life's lived so this lady isn't doing this in one one swoosh uh, she isn't uh, at her uh, uh, Rolodex of uh, buying fields and gathering food and doing all this. This is just daily activities. Uh, you know, this virtuous woman uh, knows how to uh, find the resources for her family and home. You know, and, and now we're speaking about uh, the woman here, but that, that's the family nature. You know, a man, most, for the most part, and I want to be very careful, uh, I'm not a chauvinist. Uh, matter of fact, I, for those of you that may have that opinion, let me share what my household used to look like. I have a wife and two daughters. I was the only male representative. So if you think for a moment uh, that, that I'm a chauvinist or I don't see things from the feminine perspective, you are wrong. Matter of fact, I blame them uh, for making me feminine. I, I see things more from the woman perspective than, than most men because all I was around was women, right? And so. Uh, but having said that, uh, this woman, uh, you know, she, she got out of the box and she thought more than just herself. And that's a good quality for anybody to have, man or woman. Uh, you know, we think about lives lived, uh, good lives lived. And most all lives that we honor were lives that the person lived uh, outside of their self. They, they weren't just concentrating or something. Matter of fact, if you get self-centered, your life becomes very shallow. Uh, there, there's not much depth to it, and it becomes a, a, a what shall I say, very unsatisfactory life. But if you live outside your life and you and you you wake up wondering what you can do to, to promote your spouse, I'm talking to men and women now, or what you can do to, to help your children, what you can do to help your community church you know i i live in the church world as you might imagine have did that for over three decades and uh the the, the people who have benefited this church the most have been those people that, that didn't just live for themselves they live uh, for others they were concerned about church events they were ch concerned about church activities and uh, so that's what this lady does now uh, uh you know this willingly works with her hands now this doesn't mean she's a blue collar woman so to speak even though they're out there uh, i used to work in at coal mines back years ago uh, when i first started the ministry matter of fact i was a coal miner and we had a couple female coal miners uh now I'm, i want to share with you if you know anything about blue collar you can't get much blue collar than, than coal mine it's cold it's messy it's dirty and you are working uh, they don't pay you to sit around and so it is really blue collar but there was a couple ladies there so it's don't stereotype either way but this lady was industrial so it's, it's, it's phrase it that way and then the, we we seen that uh, uh, she operated with regularity and effort she knew you know, I, back to my, my two daughters, they, uh, I, I see a pattern in my daughters that, that came from my wife. My wife always, always had us meals. She always had uh, things ready. She always knew the doctor appointments. She always knew all these things. Uh, me, not so much. Uh, one of my daughters actually got in trouble one time uh, because I couldn't remember where she was, but she told me. And then uh, I had to come up and, and take the blame because it was on me. She had specifically shared with me where she was going, who she was with, and the time. And I forgot. Uh, but but she wasn't that way. Uh, she she could be on the telephone and one of the girls tell her where she's going, who she's with, and what time. And she knew. And, and so that's what this lady does. I mean, God has built something in women uh, that is connected with their family. They're aware of what their family's doing and they share in their family. And that's what uh, Lemuel, Lemuel's mother, remember that's what this whole thing was about. That's what he was telling me. You know, this is the kind of lady that's gonna, uh, it's gonna make it last. 
Now I know, uh, I, I hope I have a young man watching tonight. I may not. But if you're a young single man, uh, think things through. I mean, the lady you see right now, she's smoking hot and you enjoy being with her. But how about 20, 30 years down the road? And that, that's what the Lemuel's mother is sharing. And, uh, uh, you know, in the biblical times, you know, it says that she even had portions for her servants and, and, and uh, maids and, and all this stuff. Well, in the biblical times, you know, that, that was a role. Now, uh, don't get uh, cancel culture on me and, and go uh, berserk. That's a biblical role, but it actually was beneficial. Uh, you know, they didn't have the social network. They didn't have the support system we had now. So if you were a young man or young lady and you didn't have a family, you didn't have a means to support yourself, you were glad to attach yourself to a family and become, uh, you know, a maid or, or something like that because it assured you a bed to rest in, it assured you food, and, and probably uh, humans being humans, most people probably treated you well. And so it wasn't that bad a gig. They didn't have welfare, they didn't have social security, they didn't have the things that we are accustomed to, uh, to support the single and to support the widows and the widowers. And so you've seen that. Now, uh, this virtuous woman, she had compassion and compassion. You know, uh, let, let's show grace to others. Now, once again, I'm, I'm going multi-sex uh, here, not just uh, to the ladies, but to the men also. How beneficial it is when we show grace and mercy to others. And, uh, you know, this, this virtuous woman, if you would, uh, you know, forward thinking, creative. You know, we got to think past today, don't we? We all do. We got to be forward thinking and, and think past today, and, uh, and, and and what benefit that is. Now, uh, direct your attention to verse 17, if you would. I'm going to read one more section tonight. Uh, we're going to read 17 through 20. And then, as I shared, we will read verse 17 through 20. And then we're going to take a couple week break from Proverbs, have a couple Christmas, and maybe even a New Year uh, illustration. And then, then, then we move forward. But uh, this uh, uh, verse 17 says, She gird her loins with strength, strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle. Her hands hold uh, the, the staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. She reaches forth her hands to the needy. Now, this uh, virtuous woman, virtuous wife, if you would, is noted for her strength, her action. She uses her strength for productive purpose. This says her arms. That doesn't mean she has to go to the gym every week or do Zumba or whatever that some of these ladies do. I think I got that right. Uh, you, if I did, didn't correct me, I've never been. I think Miss Sheila used to do a Zumba class or something. Uh, yoga, all these things that people do. Uh, that doesn't mean she has to do that, but she strengthens herself. She keeps herself. She thinks about her health because her health is beneficial to, to produce herself. And, and when I say this, we keep talking about this virtuous woman, but every man listening to me, you can add that. You know, let's do what we can to aid our health. Uh, uh, you know, I, I trust me, uh, all my habits aren't perfectly healthy, but I do have some healthy habits and I avoid some, some unhealthy ones. And uh, I try, I, uh, I'm not saying I'm 100% good with it, but I try to exercise, try to get rest, uh, yeah, I, I, there are some areas that I could give in on. Uh, uh, I like my sweets and my portions. I'm sure I could do better on those. Uh, but uh, but let's all uh, uh, you know think about our health. Think about benefiting later. You know, if the Lord tarries, you've got years ahead. Uh, let's do the best. The things we sow now will be beneficial then. And then uh, we also. Uh, experience enough to get materials and merchandise. Uh, you know, think think about moves. You know, decisions we make. Uh, I'm I'm the uh, 
age now where you get a little more nostalgic and think about the things. And I think about the decisions in late 20s, early 30s, you know, those that uh, mostly the, the decisions I make were ones of inactivity and not activity. I mean, I was at the crossroads and scared or pushed back or had some kind of thought. And now I wish, uh, you know, I would have been more aggressive in some of those decisions. Uh, but uh, you, we see that uh, the, this virtuous wife uses tools and technology available to the home. You know, there's so much available now. Uh, I'm uh, going to kind of date myself, but, but I'm, you know, from the, uh, I was raised in the 60s and 70s. And so you think back to the, the things that were cutting edge in 1960s. Uh, you wouldn't even think about now, right? Uh, matter of fact, my first car, I, I've only brought two brand new vehicles in my life. I bought several vehicles, but uh, all of them except for two have, have had previous owners. But I remember the very first uh, car I bought, uh, it had what then was cutting edge eight track tape on it. Okay, now you go around the country today and find me a car being sold with an 8-track tape player. It doesn't happen. Matter of fact, uh, unless you get into somebody's attic or basement or storage shed, you won't find 8-track tapes. Yeah, okay, that was cutting edge then. And now we have CDs and we have uh, MP3 players. We have all this technology. Well, we got to stay up with technology. You know, uh, the good old days are the old days. And they probably weren't as good as we imagined. We're just more comfortable. You think about the good old days when pioneers and and uh, the ladies, uh, you had one outfit of clothes and so when you had to clean it, the ladies took a rock and went to the creek and beat out the dirt and rinsed it in a creek. Uh, the good old days doesn't sound too good. Now even, even Pastor Jim can go downstairs and throw all the clothes in the wash machine, set the dial, put a little detergent, push a button. Even I can wash clothes, right? Because of the modern technology. And that's what uh, this, this person does, stay up, stay up with technology. Uh, basically, a skillful manager uh, uh, and one of great compassion. That, that's what it is. Now, we're talking about the Proverbs 31 woman, but I, you know, as I read that and think about it, we could all do that. Uh, let's all be more skillful at managing what God has given us to manage, and let's have more compassion towards one another. Can we do that? I hope we can. Well, uh, I know, as I share with you, here we are in December, many of you, busy month. Would you uh, continue to tune in and listen to these Wednesday broadcasts? You know, my prayer, I, I surround these things with prayer. I really want them to be beneficial to you in the middle of the week. And, you know, the physical meetings are important, and, and please plan on being Faith Baptist Church, 205 East Main Street in Lagodi. Please plan on attending physically anytime that you can. But, the, but these on the, the Facebook, they're there all the time. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. You can't sleep. Guess what? You can listen to a broadcast. Uh, we do this to be beneficial to you, and to those people in the community, those people are part of our church. Uh, maybe, you know, if you... Uh, Click the, the like link if you like it. Let us know you're listening. We, we, uh, we all pray, our whole entire church prays. Uh, the church uh, uh, finances, as many of you know, you listen, uh, some of you listen for a long time. We never ask you guys for money to help fund us or any of that. This is a ministry of Faith Baptist Church, and we have a prayerful desire uh, that, that it would benefit you. And so, once again, tune in next week and the following week. We're going to bring some Christmas theme messages. Uh, we love you. We care so much for you. Uh, and so let's close in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to speak to these, your listeners. Lord, we ask that it would, uh, this lesson today would be beneficial to all those that have taken time to tune in. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.